It's still Disciples Liberation time with some questions from the community. We've got a couple of questions from you guys and we took out a couple of them and we'll release them in the next couple of weeks. This is the first FAQ of this series and let's start with the first question. So no plans for character creation or a selection of pre-made ones for this game? Disciples Liberation is about Aviana's journey through Nevendar, so naturally we are focused on on a remarkable, complex and believable character rather than a player avatar. Therefore, character creation is not intended and won't be added to the game after launch. And the next question. Can you confirm that there will be no unit evolution, just leveling? Every recruitable unit will have just one form. Aviana will be able to unlock a vast variety of units during her journey through Nevenda, while the units themselves will not be able to evolve into different units. Unlocking new units is possible by gaining reputation with the relevant faction. These reputation changes depend on the player's choices, due to the fact that gaining high reputation with all factions at the same time time is not possible. The set of available units will be different with every playthrough. Let's continue with the third question. It's a large one. From what I played so far in the demo, the atmosphere in the game seems a bit too upbeat compared to previous games. Is this the general tone that we can expect with some ups and downs? Or is it just for the beginning of the story to get us familiar with the game before delving further into the actual meat of the story? In the beginning of the game, Aviana is still a young mercenary and the four faction starting provinces will introduce players to the world of Nevenda. The story around Aviana develops steadily throughout the game and grows darker and more mature once you progress. Let's continue with the next question, number four. The transition from the first dungeon and the discovery of the city of Everything else is a bit disjointed to me. The city seems to be somehow disconnected from the rest of the world. But uh, the Empire will find us. A way to learn about the city in more natural way would help. Maybe with a few quests that introduce it to us section by section during the main story. This is part of the story and the introduction of Ilion happens quite surprisingly and very early in the game. However, you will learn a lot more about Ilion as the story unfolds. And a nice tip, you can check out our series of Disciples Liberation strategy guides. Until now, there must be two uh, released. One of them is about the city of Ilion. Last question for today. Why can we recruit units from all those races from the start. Is this just for the demo? I just saw the Companions trailer. Will we unlock races by recruiting them also? Some of them should be mutually exclusive for lore reasons and to make the game more replayable. To show the range and possibilities of the units in Disciples Liberation right from the start, some of the buildings in the demo are already pre-built. Unlocking units depends on the decisions you make in the game. It is an important part of the game to pick your choices carefully and manage your reputation, since it is not possible to have all units of each faction available at the same time. You can replay the game and end up with completely different armies. Yes, and those were the first five questions. We will continue this series of community questions in the next weeks. I hope that helped you out. And uh, if yes, please leave a like. A subscription would also be nice so you won't miss any other Disciples Liberation video. So, and uh, activate the notification bell. It's also 
quite helpful. So, until next time, goodbye.